episode two of what I eat in a week so welcome back I want to start by saying thank you guys so much for all the positive love and feedback I got so many people watching this video this time you guys are really interested in it and you guys liked it so we will continue the series with part two well episode two because it's a series yeah so today is Monday I did do a little bit of meal prepping yesterday which I did I'll show you guys right now so I did a crock pot chicken um, I did a whole chicken organic chicken did a little bit of seasoning which I did show you guys um, when I'm doing meal prep especially for the week because I have a lot to do this week every week um, so I want to do a chicken that I can spread out for until like Wednesday and then do another recipe or something like that for the rest of the week but the chicken will last me and my boyfriend for a few days which I love so um I have it in now. I put it in last night at midnight and it's still cooking. It's about like 11, almost 11 o'clock now. So I'm probably going to leave it in until about like 3 because I'm going to go to Harlem now and then I'll be back a little bit later. So I'm going to let it stay here and cook and do its thing. And once it's done, I'll come back later and I have a special surprise tonight because for the meal prep for the week, we're doing a whole chicken in the crock pot and we're also doing Haitian mac and cheese. You guys know I'm Haitian and I want to give you guys some mix of flavors and stuff like that. So I decided to do like a Haitian mac and cheese using cauliflower but it's gonna be super keto super delicious so I'm excited to do that today and I also have another recipe this week um, that I want to try out as well too so you guys will be super happy to see how that works out as well but for Monday we're doing our prep today I'm gonna to show you guys the cauliflower mac and cheese Haitian style and the chicken that I created I'll actually show you guys in a minute what it looks like it looks super super good and moist um, I usually just add like a little bit of like pepper and stuff like that just to make sure it's really spiced but it smells freaking amazing so guys um, um, in this video this week, I'll be answering a few questions, pull out a few questions, and like I said on Saturday, I will announce the winner when episode two, this episode, drops on Saturday. So from moving forward, all my um, what I eat in a week videos will be dropping on Saturday to give you guys a full Monday through Friday type of like lifestyle because that's the best time people can get, like working people can get an idea of what to do. I did get asked some questions about moms, like mothers with families trying to do this, so. I can give you guys some good question uh, answers for those uh, things as well, so I'm super excited about that. So um, I'm gonna have a protein shake because I'm still fasting. Um, I have a protein shake, and then uh, I'll go out and come back and show you guys what I eat. So it's gonna be pretty much a basic day. Same thing as last week. On the weekends, guys, I still do keto. I just don't work out. But on the weekdays, I do work out, which I will show you guys tonight. So I'm at school right now, but I wanted to crack out this premier protein because I need to take this right now because I'm feeling. A little under I do have a cheese stick as well too I got these last night at the grocery store some cheese sticks just to hold me down I won't be here for like maybe like two more hours I'm gonna definitely leave here at 3 I'm not staying here past 3 o'clock cuz I need to get home to make dinner for me and bed so I wanted to quickly show you guys what my first meal of the day was so this is my first meal I'm fasting obviously so I'm gonna have this and then um, I'm going to go home and make uh, maybe probably have like a salad and then dinner will be the um, the special dinner. So I'm definitely getting out of here at 3 o'clock. I'm going to finish this carry plan. I'm out of here. So, yeah. All right, guys. So it's kind of late. So I'm going to go ahead and start the mac and cheese, the Haitian mac and cheese. The chicken, as you guys have already seen, is already done. So I put it on keep warm. So I have some water boiling with some salt, some pepper, and some uh, chicken broth, which is this chicken broth that I use right here. So I'm actually going to use this product and all that extra stuff. And I'm going to put the cauliflower, which I already cut yesterday, into cauliflower pieces or like mac and cheese pieces. I kind of left them chunky because I want it to be kind of bite-sized or whatever. So I kind of left them chunky. So I'm going to actually boil that for like maybe like five minutes. So for the cheese sauces, I'm going to kind of make it like Haitian mac and cheese. We can't use carnation milk, which is what we use. So I'm going to use heavy cream. The heavy cream right now, I mean, well, right now, it says that it's less than one gram of carbs. So I'm going to use one f this size and I have a little bit of this left. I'm going to add some chicken broth. We also use Maggie seasoning in the mac and cheese, salt, pepper, all that kind of stuff. I don't have any regular un unsweetened, like plain original almond milk, so I'm going to use the unsweetened vanilla. Honestly, I've done it before. It doesn't make a difference, guys. You don't really taste anything vanilla, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to use Gouda cheese and mild cheese, which is the specialty. Gouda cheese is a specialty for this and Parmesan. So you guys will see that. And then I'll bake it, and then you guys will see the final result.
to you it's Tuesday so yesterday didn't go as planned um, yesterday I had to stay at school longer than I expected so I didn't pack anything and I wasn't gonna go anywhere and buy anything because most likely it was gonna be keto friendly well I would have to find it and I just didn't have time for that because I was trying to get home to eat this food so I ended up having I put a little clip in the video I had like my protein shake I had some peanuts and I had a cheese stick which was pretty good it held me uh, pretty well and I also had some water because I'm trying to up the water intake and I did take my vitamins yesterday morning too so that worked fine so I want to run home and do this so me and my boyfriend were starving guys like just like starving so the crock pot chicken I did show you guys when I plated it super good juicy guys the chicken created its own juices I never put any liquids in it other than the olive oil and a little bit of coconut oil I don't put liquid in it because the chicken will produce its own liquid which it did blazing guys so I didn't show you guys me plating the mac and cheese because the mac and cheese ended up being um, a little watery now with me I make cheese sauce you don't have to make cheese sauce you could just put the shredded cheese on and mix it together but I like to for Haitian mac and cheese like real Haitian mac and cheese we make like a cheese sauce so I wanted to do that and that's how I did it but when I served it up last night it was a little bit wet still just because we were starving so I want to replate it today and show you guys for dinner tonight because we're gonna have it again because it was that good so this is what it looks like guys and and you can see it's all like now it's like you know coagulated it's all frozen up now so it's perfect it's gonna be bomb guys I'm gonna show you guys when I plate it up later super super good guys and you guys can see like the onions and peppers in there which gives you that Haitian mac and cheese vibes which was what I was going for so I will show you guys how I plate this up I do want to show you guys some stuff I got from Amazon keto friendly stuff I got from Amazon so I'm gonna open the box up guys and then I'll be right back to show you guys alright guys so this is gonna be like a little mini Amazon shop so I did pick out some stuff so I can do some fun recipes for you guys because I enjoy cooking so I want you guys to kind of see the aspect of me trying to make keto friendly meals that are delicious so far I think I've done a pretty good job so I'm gonna try to do some dessert type of things so I did go ahead and get some chia seeds guys this is great in fiber and it has low carbs it has no carbs basically so the chia seed pudding is a really big thing on keto or, or whatever so I wanted to go ahead and make uh, chia seed puddings so I did get four of the mini mason jars to do it in um, you can go ahead and put it in the fridge and you know you could even put the date on it which I thought was really cute so I'm gonna do like maybe like a strawberry one a uh, peanut butter one or chocolate one I'm gonna try to make myself like a keto dessert so I'm gonna test this out I did get the Justin's classic almond butter now almond butter is pretty low in carbs regular peanut butter is pretty high and this has kind of like the same taste so it does the job so this one is two net carbs for two tablespoons which is pretty good um, it's not like peanut butter consistency it's a little bit watery um, not watery watery but it's a little bit more watery than regular peanut butter but it's pretty good guys so I got this as well I also did get some almond flour I got the Webby's Welby's almond flour so for this one I did get the two pound bag just because I don't plan on ordering more like I'm just gonna use this for a few things not everything I'm gonna make is gonna I'm gonna use this so for this one a fourth of a cup is three net carbs which is pretty good so you can make like cookies guys you can make waffles and stuff like that which comes to the part of my mini waffle maker so I don't know if you guys know chaffles chaffles is kind of like that carbless you know waffle cheese whatever and you can make like really nice bacon egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches like that and have like that really you know cheesy taste so I wanted to try to make a chaffles with this guys so I got a mini waffle maker I'm crossing my fingers that it works out because I have high hopes my sister tested it out and she said hers were gross so I'm hoping that my flavor my fate my flavor profile is better than hers so I'm hoping that I can get make some really good chaffle so cross our fingers these come out good I'm not sure when I'm gonna make them but you guys will know when I make them so yeah and I also did get um, the 12 cavity bar pan I guess they call it so basically like little brownie pans because I want to also make some keto bread like some keto buns so I wanted to get like these little um, like small size kind of like brownie tins so I can make this keto bread I'm crossing my fingers this works out guys I'm trying to make this good so um, this is my experiment right here so I'll probably do um, this this week for you guys and I also have another fun recipe so stay tuned all right guys so I'm finally back home so I did go out and grab some lunch because I was hanging out with Glamazante uh, she actually came to visit the city this weekend so we actually linked up 
freaking love her. So we wanted to go get something to eat, so we got some Jamaican food. But I definitely kept the keto, so I want to show you guys how to keep a keto when you go out to eat. No, I can't eat rice or anything like that, so I decided just to get jerk chicken with vegetables. They actually didn't have any cabbage at the moment, so I had to get like a salad anyways. So I ended up just getting a salad. They actually put like a lot of stuff in the salad, like carrots and stuff, but I'm going to just eat around that and eat the cucumbers and the lettuce. But the jerk chicken looks fabulous, guys. You guys can see it looks super duper freaking delicious they gave me about four pieces so i'm gonna go ahead and put that i'm gonna warm the chicken up in the oven first i like my i like my chicken hot so i'm gonna eat the chicken um i did get a package in the mail guys right before it's so crazy it's right before i left i got this package and i just did a haul from amazon so i ordered some protein shakes the premier protein shakes i will leave the link down below i actually ordered direct from the website this time because they have more variety so I got myself the strawberry flavor and the, the whole box pack of 12 piece. So they actually set it to an individual four pieces like this, but I got 12 of these, which was the whole set, the box. So I got the strawberry flavor because the strawberry and cream flavor is very hard to find in stores. Um, your best bet is, is to try Walmart or try Amazon. But then again, I really don't trust that just because I've I've read a lot of reviews when the box busted open and everything was spilled. So luckily, I checked it and nothing has broken out of this box. So I'm going to leave the link down below so you guys can directly go and make a purchase for the Premier Protein Shakes. Um, and one other one that I got that I really wanted to show you guys is... Um, the new flavor that they have is cafe latte. So if you like coffee and you like iced coffee, this is actually one cup of coffee and it's 160 calories, one gram of sugar and 24 vitamins and minerals. So this is gonna give you the protein that you need. The the, the carbs that is on here is only two net carbs, guys. So this is going to be a nice pick-me-up coffee and also a nice keto drink. So I got this one. I got one pack of it, four pieces, just to test it out. But it says it's one cup of coffee, guys, and it's going to, I hope, I'm crossing my fingers that this this max because I'm really excited about this one so I'll probably show you guys an iced coffee in tomorrow's video if you guys are interested in seeing that so I just wanted to show that to you I'm gonna chow down on my jerk chicken and my salad and uh, yeah and then I'll show you guys dinner and everything else for later so yeah <laughs> So I am finally back home right now. Today was the longest day of my life. Not only today, but this entire week has been a living you know what so I had care plans I need to be finalized because the semester is going to be over and then I had to do like a skills lab performing skills in front of the proctor and stuff like that so today went kind of crazy but I did well I scored an 88 on the care plan which is not bad I could want I wanted an A and then I passed the skills which is good but I'm home now guys my fasting time stopped at one o'clock I did bring my premier protein shake because I tell you guys all the time it comes with me wherever I go so I did bring one of these I had it at one o'clock it's 2 30 now so I'm home and it's time to make my first big meal of the day or not big meal my first meal of the day so what I'm going to do guys I'm gonna try out making my pizza so I did go ahead and pick up the Otter Isles plant-powered pizza crust so this is three net carbs guys it's whole crust so it's like a, a nice little personal pizza crust it's not the thickest pizza crust this will be my first time trying it so I'm definitely gonna do a taste test in front of you guys so you guys can see my reaction um, but my sister uses this makeup Shaley uses this she's not even doing keto anymore but she's actually the one that put my sister on that put me on so um i'm gonna just make a classic pizza guys cheese oregano sauce i am gonna show you guys the sauce that i use that's keto friendly just about everybody knows that sauce 
I mean, like, come on. If you've been on keto, you know what sauce I'm talking about. The rails. So I'm going to do a small little pizza in this and test it out because I'm super starving. But before I run off and do that, I want to give you guys a little bit of a quick tip for snacks because I feel like I get a lot of snack questions. So I wanted to give you guys like a quick little tip for snacks. So if it when it comes to me, because I'm always out for maybe like three to four hours, I'm never out for like a good eight hours or anything like that. So I always make sure I pack a cheese stick. Very small, very simple. Drop it in the bag and go. Now, just don't forget about it in your bag, but I always bring a cheese stick because the cheese sticks will definitely save you a little bit. Um, so if you like, get the kind of like, you know, you want to nibble on something or have something quick, the cheese stick will work. It's flavorful. I usually get like the, the mixed variety, the mixed flavor. You can go ahead and get whichever preference you like. And like I said, Premier Protein always comes with me. It comes with me with water or my Bi Water. Bi Water has like maybe like one net carb, guys. Make sure you read the labels. Everything is printed. You got to make sure you read the labels on Keto just to make sure that you're on point. I'll either bring a protein shake with me or I'll bring one of the bio waters like I said and, a, or, and or a bottle of water and the last thing that I just picked up in the store that me and my boyfriend tested out that seems to work very well which is pretty good is the P3 portable pack now if I'm going to bring this with me, I won't bring the protein, Premier Protein, because the Premier Protein and this product right here are almost equal the amount of protein that you need for like a little serving. So for this P3 Portable Protein Pack, guys, you get 16 grams of protein. It has 12 grams of fat, which is something that we need. It has uh, eight carbohydrates and three dairy dietary fiber, which gives you five net carbs. Now this comes with roasted peanuts, sunflower kernels, and uh, and turkey jerky. Now, if you're someone that doesn't eat pe uh, pork or beef like me, then you can go ahead and get the turkey jerky. It's all right. It's, it tastes like a little smoke flavor or whatever. It's all right. It's not my first choice, but I rock with the peanuts and the sunflower. So all together, like I said, snack wise, if you're under 20 net carbs and you use this, this is five. This should fill you up because it's 16 grams and you're getting a lot of those great oils in it. So for me, because I feel like when I'm on keto, if I'm busy doing stuff, I don't think about food. You can't think about something you can't enjoy. You know what I'm saying? You can't fantasize about something that you can't have. So for me, once I'm past the first week of keto, I'm it doesn't matter. The food, rice and stuff like that is gone. I don't even care about it anymore, to be honest with you. Like dead ass. I've already forgotten about it. So um for me guys, I feel like with this, this is very, very good. Like if you if you want to stay underneath the 20 net carbs, I feel like if you use this for the 5 net carbs, you still have 15 left to stretch out for like lunch and dinner. So it can definitely, definitely work. Breakfast is always a low carb meal, so you really don't worry too much about breakfast. When you're doing like lunch and dinner, you do start adding like some of the green vegetable carbs and stuff like that. But if you have this product right here for 5 net carbs, you still have 15 left to still keep you into keto still keep you in ketosis and you'll still be able to lose some weight. So that's basically what I take with me if I I'm gonna be out for like three to four hours and I don't want to risk buying food outside of places I don't know what they put in the food I will always bring a snack with me that'll hold me down until I get home So that's what I bring if some of you guys are confused about it because you guys know I'm an out I add some clips in when I was at school on Monday and yesterday I don't know what I did. I showed you guys like I don't know what I did yesterday But if you guys don't see me with the physical food showing you guys, this is what I take and then I always wait home. I always wait till I get home to eat. But if I can go somewhere and pick something out that's like like yesterday when I had the jerk chicken in the salad, I was able to pick that up because that's something that they offered. So if you can find something that's keto friendly, go for it. But if you can't, just get a snack first that you brought from home and then wait till you get home. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make this pizza and I'll come back and let you guys know what it tastes like. All right, guys, so this is the cauliflower crust right here. You can see all the herbs and stuff in it. it. Smells actually really, really good. So I actually don't have any sauce, which is a bummer. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a brunch pizza. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put this under the oven and get it crispy. Then we're going to do some toppings and stuff like that. I'm going to prepare some turkey, bacon, and eggs. And then we're going to do some avocado hash on the bottom. And then we're going to have a brunch pizza. So, guys, I'm really excited about it now because it smells good. So I know all together the flavor is going to be. You don't have very long time. What is your verdict? Find the defendant guilty. The deadly narcotic. Pay to the devil for the jury. You've got to get a hold of yourself.
so I am super excited to try this. So this is going to be my pizza brunch or brunch pizza. So I did the avocado, I did a little cheese on the crust, avocado, turkey bacon, and two eggs. They were kind of semi, like the yolk was supposed to spill out, but you know, I kind of left it on the pan for a little bit longer. So it got a little hard, but that's fine. So I'm gonna just try one piece. It looks like a big pizza, guys, but remember, it's low carb, so this should fill you up. If you're looking to be filled, this should fill you up. And one thing I want to mention about the crust, the aroma. It smells so good. They really seasoned it and put a lot of herbs in it. So it definitely has a really, really nice smell. So I'm going to go ahead and crush it up like a New York pizza. The crust on the... Oh my... Yo. Can you guys see this? I hope I'm not in focus. Please get me out of focus. Like, look at that, guys. Like, look at that. It's like a burrito. So let's go ahead and try it. I want to take a picture. It's fine. Let me try it. Mm. Bomb. Bro, this crust, delicious. Like, it is super flavorful. Like, well. Guys, here goes another one. I'm telling y'all, like, this tastes really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if you guys can hear it outside. I have the window open. It's so hot in here. Mmm. Let me show y'all. Look at that. And you can see, like, the cauliflower crust. Look at how nice and fluffy it is. So this is definitely keto proof. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a big thumbs up. I can I can wake up to this. I can honestly and truly see myself waking up saying to myself, "Ooh, I want some pizza brunch today." This is bomb, guys! Like, really good. Today is Thursday. So yesterday was cool, was nice and well fed. I wasn't hungry or anything like that. Perfect day. The week has been going by pretty good. I did tell you guys in the beginning of the week I had a hard time because I had all these deadlines for school and stuff like that, but I found a way to make it work. I did show you guys my little snack pack or whatever um, and stuff like that. I do have an Amazon package downstairs. It might be something else that I ordered from Amazon, so I'll add that into the mix of the video today or the portion of the week's video today, or I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. It's like brownie mix, um, which I'll probably make and then make like a really cool dessert, so you guys have to stay tuned for that. But today I'm going to actually go ahead and make myself a coffee colada now coffee colada this coffee colada is going to be high in protein and low in carbs and low in sugar so I'm going to use a premier protein the cafe latte I'm going to go ahead and gr uh, grind it up in the um, the Nutribullet, whatever I got, Magic, is it Magic Bullet? Whatever, I'm gonna grind it up and make myself a nice coffee culotta and make it cute and tasty. Now, I am, my fast time is over now, so I am actually waiting for my boyfriend to come back home with some really delicious seafood. So if you live in Brooklyn, I have like a really cool hack. So you can go to this really cool fish market out here and they also do like steamed and fried uh, seafood. Very healthy, they have like uh, steamed broccoli, steamed everything, and you get like your shrimp and your salmon steamed and they add like butter on it and they add like seasoning. 
very very good guys and it's keto friendly so I will show you guys what that looks like when it gets here so I can show you guys what I'm eating for lunch but for now I'm gonna have a coffee culotta another thing I want to add into the mix of this week's what I eat in a week episode is I did get my period now I know that's kind of like TMI but no it's not because for the ladies out there that are struggling with the menstrual candy kicking cravings um, Last night, I obviously showed you guys I had to have that uh, the peach rings. Just a heads up to you guys. Well, for people that want to try to get those candies, go ahead for the peach rings. The peach rings are bomb tot. Like, I've never tasted candy that's like less lo low in sugar, low in carbs, that tastes this freaking good. It tastes so close to the regular peach rings, guys, without the caramelized sugar. You know what's funny? Without all that sugar that... It's probably the same thing guys it just doesn't have like the crystallized sugar on top it's practically the same exact thing so that's been helping me for these little kind of menstrual cravings and I did make a really tasty uh, yogurt design I've been showing you guys I've been putting strawberries in a cinnamon so yesterday I did cinnamon I did sunflower bu um, butter and then I mixed it together it was bomb so I've been doing little things little sweet treats to kind of kick up the little menstrual cravings but I've been fine so let me stop rambling and let me make this coffee cool out lunch so it's salmon shrimp broccoli and cabbage and it's all steamed it's what 10 pieces of shrimp 10 10 pieces of shrimp guys and one nice piece of salmon and there's butter I did go ahead and put some extra Cajun seasoning seasoning on top so it's gonna go down I'm probably gonna eat half of this and then save some for later but I wanted to make uh, some fried chicken fried rice later so we'll see how that goes but I'm about to tear this up guys so it is dinner time dinner preparation so we're gonna do a chicken fried rice using cauliflower rice so I'm also going to use all of this stuff obviously you guys can see so what we're gonna start with is some peppers stir fried peppers in the bag I also have some soy sauce some sesame oil we have some green onions some bean sprouts bay leaves um, cabbage and we have some chicken breasts that are already pre-seasoned in the bag but I'm gonna cook these first and add my own seasoning slice them up and then start adding the vegetables in but I'll show you guys all of that so this is my ingredients for my chicken fried rice I'm also going to use my coconut oils as well just to be the base for the um, cooking and the frying and stuff like that so guys let's get done <laughs>
guys. So I already took a bite of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get, take another bite in front of you guys so you guys can see. This is really good, guys, with the avocado on the side. Uh, I think the sesame oil definitely gave it um, more in a, of an Asian vibe, but the flavor is spot on. It's not rice, guys, but it's cauliflower rice, close enough, but the flavor profile is everything. I definitely think that next time I'm going to actually add more cabbage and then I'm going to also um, add some more bean sprouts because it tastes really good with the crunchiness of those vegetables. Um, and another thing, um, it took me, a, with this cauliflower rice thing, you don't want to rush it because if you're using the frozen bag, it's going to hold a lot of moisture. So that's why I kind of fry mine out all the way through. There's like a little bit of kick to this because I did add some cayenne pepper. So this is spot on. Very, very tasty. Like tasty. So today is Friday. So I'm enjoying my Premier Protein Strawberry Shake strawberry shake but I call it a shake I don't know it tastes really good guys I put ice cubes in it make it nice and chilly and stuff like that so it is around 1 30 right now guys so I am kind of dressed up because I'm gonna head out to Connecticut to see my mom and my sisters I have to pick up a couple packages so before I go I want to make sure I wrap I make myself something to eat so I decided to go ahead and create a turkey burger wrap so I'm gonna use this carb balance wrap, you guys seen it last week's video, Five Net Carbs. We're gonna use a turkey burger patty and like three slices of turkey bacon, lettuce, ketchup, mayo. I do have a sugar-free ketchup that's low carbs. Um, and uh, lettuce, tomato, no tomato, lettuce, mayo, ketchup, and cheese. And that's gonna be like a turkey burger wrap for me. Super delicious, I'll show you guys how I make it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna stay in Connecticut for like maybe like Takes me about an hour to get there. So hopefully I'm staying there for about like three hours. My sister gets out of work at five. I'm trying to be out there by seven because I want to get back home. What did I just do with the thing? Wow. Give me a second. All right, guys. So here's what I want to show you guys. So I did get another package from Amazon. I did tell you guys I did like an Amazon keto shop. So I hope you guys enjoyed that portion of the video this week. So this is one last product that came to me. So this is the Keto and Company Fudge Brownie Mix. So this, with the measurements of the entire bag, with the eggs and the butter, it is worth 1.1 net carb. So I want to do a fun dessert. Told you guys I've been having like little cravings lately. So I want to try something else out. So we're going to do fudge brownies tonight. I'm going to go and look for some keto friendly ice cream at the grocery store. I'm gonna try to bring the camera with me. I'm gonna bring the camera with me and film it while I'm in the grocery store. I'll probably go to Stop and Shop because out here it's kind of hard to find it. They have a lot of organic stores out here but it's pretty pricey like the price is inflated out here. So I'm just gonna go back to Connecticut, go to Walmart, go to a few places and try to find some keto friendly items that I can find there. So I'll bring you guys along with me so that'll be like an extra part of this video. Yippee! So we're going to do fudge brownies tonight with like you know maybe like a little scoop of ice cream and some whipped cream on top try to make it real fancy and keto friendly guys so I'm super excited to make this I'm crossing my fingers it tastes good every single person that has reviewed this um, well the reviews that I've seen they said it's tasted the best dessert uh, keto dessert ever so I'm super excited about that so guys um, you see me all dressed I actually linked the Chine haul for this outfit which is from Fashion Nova I did the Chine haul like maybe last week or two weeks ago but I'm gonna wear it today because it's comfy put some Balenciagas on and get to going so guys I'm gonna show you guys how I make my turkey burger wrap which is so bomb low carbs and so bomb and um, I'll take you guys along with me on my little mini road trip back to home
right, guys, here is the chipotle. So we got the salad. I got the, what is it, super greens, Dan? We got double meat. It's not really double meat. The girl, she was being really stingy as if she's going to take some home to her family. That's fine. A little bit of tomatoes, uh, some cheese. And then I got the guac on the side this time. And then I got the dressing. I'm going to try the dressing. I've never had their dressing before because I've never really gotten salads before because I really didn't care for it. But now I guess I have to care for it because it's the only thing I can eat there. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this up, guys. Put the guac and everything on and make it do what it do. So that's dinner for tonight, guys. So dinner on the go. All right, guys, I'm out here trying to find myself a liquor beverage that's keto friendly. Oh, this is three carbs. This is two carbs. Oh, this is two net carbs right here. No. And that's three. Why is that one good? <laughs> <laughs> so this one is a good one, guys. Look at that. Two grams of carbs. What is that's it? 5% alcohol? It's not bad. That's not 5%. You're a little buzz. Yeah. You don't need to be all lit. So I'm going to go ahead and I might get this one to test. And then I might do this one right here, the berry lemonade, which is not bad at all either. So we'll try this one as well. So, cause this one is one gram. Maybe. And that's it, right? This is the one. But I know this one is probably really bad for you. It's really sweet. This is the one you had at the house. That was not mine. I know it's delicious. So we're gonna get this one. And one of these. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So these are the ice cream selections that we have. Now I misread the packaging on here. So these are 90 calorie. A lot of protein, less sugar. So let's read the back so you guys can see how the breakdown is. So the total carbohydrate is 18 grams, dietary fiber five, and the erythral is six. So what is that again? That's 11 minus 18. Seven. So that's seven for half a cup of that. So I wouldn't get that one. I would probably get vanilla, but let's just look at the halo top. Let's see how much the halo top is. No, the halo top ain't, don't got that extra sugar in it. So it's just straight up. 15 grams. It just has sugar alcohols. So. That's the same thing. Oh, for real? Kind of. It depends. I play more safe if I see the erythral, so we're just gonna go with that. Yeah, but. The sugar alcohol is the same? Yeah, yeah, but you would mind it. It's better to mind it. Should we play it safe with the erythral? Yeah. Yeah, let's just play it safe because I'm not sure about this. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think, but. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these and I will let you guys know. I think it's like fine. I, get. I see oh. stevia weed for it. Are you sure? I think that's the same thing. Dan, we're, we're relying on you for this advice right now. Come on, Dan, make the determination. But I know these, the enlightened ones, are good. So I'm gonna test out the enlightened ones are two for eight, so we're gonna get two of the eight for eight. Yeah, these are stevia, so you can subtract them. I can subtract it? Okay, so we're gonna do one of these and then we're gonna do two of these since it's two brain. Yeah. So I'm gonna pick out two of the enlightened guys and I'm gonna pick out one of the halo top. And then when I get home, I will test it out for you guys. And I'll pick one to match with the um, fudge brownie. So I will be back. Say bye, Dan. Bye.
wanna throw my page out the window. I don't really wanna put your number on. You make me wanna throw my page out the window. You hit me messages nonstop. You make me wanna throw my page out the window. I don't really wanna put your number on. You make me wanna throw my page out the window. You hit me messages nonstop. You make me wanna. Tastes like a brownie. Mm. Tastes just like brownies. Now the ice cream is very light, guys, so it melts quick. Very. It tastes, look, guys. I'm not. Even, it tastes just like a brownie. Like, it tastes like a brownie. Wow. Before I run off, I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for watching episode one of what I eat in a week video. I did not expect a turnout like that on that video and I wanna say thank you guys so much for all the love. And if you did go ahead and share the video, thank you for pushing the video through guys, I appreciate it. And for the ones that actually watched the video and took something from that video, I wanna say thank you so much to you guys. So today I'm gonna to do another giveaway. So before I announce the last week's giveaway, let me just go ahead and tell you guys what I'm giving away. So this time around there'll be two winners and I'm going to give away one pack of the Keto Test Strips to each of the winners. So what I'm going to do for this giveaway this time guys, all you have to do is leave a recipe down below that you want me to recreate. I will actually go ahead and I did purchase this one today at Dollar Tree so every single day of next week's What I Eat in a Week I will actually list up on here what the scheduled meal is or whatever I'm deciding to make and if your recipe is, appears on here even if there's multiples I will actually shoot out um, in the comment section who I picked so you'll know who you are um, so whatever recipe I decide to recreate will be actually written on here so make sure you're looking at the board every single day and I'll actually leave a star next to it to indicate that's one of the winners so I will be giving away the keto test strips to two winners this time don't worry I still have another J scope to give away so we'll do another J scope giveaway right, guys, so I am gonna go ahead and announce the winner of the giveaway so the winner of this giveaway is Christina Little Davis so I'm gonna actually read a question and actually answer because she asked a pretty good question and I kind of saw a trend of the same questions now I just want to point something out to you guys when I'm doing what I eat in a week video I show you guys every single thing that I eat um, there's nothing left out you guys will see everything down to the snack if I have to explain the snack to you I will explain the snack to you um, a lot of people are saying is that enough food that you're eating well you're supposed to eat um, when you're hungry and you're supposed to eat until you're full now, when I'm making these meals, especially because I'm not eating carbs anymore, carbs are uh, type, the type of food that when you eat it, two hours later, you're hungry again. When you're on keto diet, you're removing those types of carbs, fast carbs or fast, um, it metabolizes very fast in your body. When you're removing those types of products and adding proteins that take a longer time to break down in the system and kind of like fresh vegetables and stuff like that, your body is so full off of that that you don't get hungry that fast anymore. Remember, like ordering McDonald's and then two hours later you're hungry because that type of fast food is quick. It goes right through the bloodstream and goes right through. So that's why you guys notice that I don't really eat that much because when I eat a meal, I'm satisfied. And on keto, you should be satisfied. And I kind of feel like if you're satisfied, then that means you're doing it right, to be honest and true to you guys. Because like, I don't really eat that much. Like, my habits before I started keto two weeks ago ha are completely different. Like, I completely forgot about rice, forgot about everything. So, when you're on the diet, uh, like I said, sometimes you guys see me eat, like, two full meals. It's not about how many meals I'm eating. It's about eating to be full and to be, and to be complete. So, I'm not overeating because I'm not hungry. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. So, Christina's question was really good, guys. So, she goes, um, great video, three questions. One, does the coconut oil make everything taste like coconut? Now, the coconut oil that I got, guys, is the refined coconut oil, so there's no taste. Make sure you read the bottle. If it's refined, there is no taste at all. If it's not refined, most of the time, you're going to get a taste like coconut. So I get my refined... Uh, 
refined, so therefore it's not gonna have any aroma, any coconut taste at all. Um, two, does your boyfriend get full off the same amount of food as you? I, I don't feed my boyfriend the same amount of food as me. If I have my portion, he eats times two. He's a big guy, he's like a man, what do you expect guys? So I give him times two my portion. And then the last question she asked is when starting out, should you measure or just eat until you're satisfied as long as it as long as it's keto? Thanks for the share. So this is how I look at it. Like I said to you guys, when you start keto, you're gonna think like you're gonna overeat. Trust me, once you're eating, you're gonna be like, I'm full. Just off a of chicken and a few pieces of broccoli. So for me, in the beginning I kind of measure it on eyeball, like a good amount of protein, a good amount of veg. And that's it. Like I said, after a while, you're going to start seeing the amount of food that you're like, planning to eat decrease just because your appetite is not there. Um, a lot of the video, a lot of the clips I did in the video this week, like the uh, the pizza brunch, I only ate half of it. My boyfriend ate the other half when he got home. Uh, the seafood platter, I actually still have the leftovers in there because I couldn't finish it. So a lot of the things that I eat, I only eat half. Just because your stomach gets full just off of the proteins and off of um, just the fresh vegetables. So, yeah. So guys, that basically wraps up today's video. Well, this week's video. <clears throat> this edit is going to be super long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a week video. I do have some more fun recipes next week. Do not forget guys about uh, entering the giveaway. And remember, you will see a star with a recipe written on here. If it's one of the winners for next week's giveaway, there'll be two winners next week. So if you have a star and a specific recipe and a comment down in the section, then you are the winner. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, but yeah, don't forget guys, thumbs up this video, leave your comments down below. Subscribe and share this video with your friends and family people. And I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.